Hello everybody, this is Phil from iPodTouchBaller.com. Thank you guys for checking this out this video. This is an application review of Log Me and Ignition. This is a very great app in the App Store. It is developed by Log Me and Incorporated. They do a lot of stuff with remote desktops and stuff like that. So obviously you can tell by that, it's a little spoiler alert. You can control your computer from your iPod, just like those VNC clients. But it has a lot more features than any VNC client. And the price of this application reflects that is $29.95. A little on the heavy side for price if you're strapped for cash. But a great application with all kinds of great features. I would recommend this to anyone. This is a remote access. It turns your iPod Touch or iPhone into a remote access device as long as you are in on have internet connection anywhere. This means you can be on you can be on your iPhone on a train or something or on a plane and I sound like Dr. Seuss but just anywhere. You can access your computers at your house from any network. But I suggest not using a, a public Wi-Fi network for security reasons. Just a little something. Um, you will need an, a LogMeIn account. Now, when you go to LogMeIn.com, you might think, okay, now you have to pay another thir another $30 for the computer version. I actually have a free version for your computer. You don't have to worry about paying. They have a free version. You, I'd pick that up because that's what I have on all my computers. This is Windows and Mac compatible. The features of the free version, you get access to your computer from any browser or PDA, or in our case, the iPhone iPod Touch. Um, remote control desktop viewing, of course. That's pretty much what this app's for. Syncing, you can sync your clipboards if you're going computer to computer. You can chat. You have full reboot and reconnect access as well as multiple user access. So you get a nice little, a little bunch of features with that. Of course, the, f the full version, of course, has more. And I, really, I say the full version. The paid version has some more stuff. But, yeah, it's whatever. So let's get into the review. There is the application right there. Log me in. And um, let's open this up. Now, of course, with the name being log me in, the first screen you get is a login screen. So you just type in your information. I have mine saved already, as you can see, just to make this go a little faster. Hit log me in, and it'll log you into your account. And it shows all the computers on your account. As you see, I only have two. I have my Dell Dimension desktop which I am actually recording this YouTube video off of right now and we have my Power Mac G4 in my room which is the one we're going to be controlling today and to add computers to your list of, on your account what you will do is you first make your account of course on a computer and you go into your account settings or whatever hit add computer download the free version on that computer go to each different computer you want to add and download the application and regularly just go add computer add computer that kind of thing but um yeah so we're gonna be doing the Mac today so let's hit Mac and we have a little waiting time here um all I can say is I'm really impressed with this app I mean when I first saw the price tag I'm like oh god <laughs> now I mean that's that's the usual reaction you get when you see an application for your iPhone or iPod touch over twenty dollars you get one of those oh my god what the heck kind of things but this is actually very useful you guys um, I would recommend this if you have the money in your iTunes account right now go ahead and get it very great app and just in case you can't see um, I'm using the unique skins skin um, very nice skin you guys I will have a review of that and the outer box case soon so yeah we're still waiting for that um, let's see any updates while we're waiting you know we can get some updates done um, subscriber count I'm gonna be doing this in a couple videos right now my subscriber count 643 which is really high for me I didn't think I'd be in this far this soon so I want to thank everybody and um, hold on okay and um, so yeah 643 subscribers guys thank you guys a lot video views kind of on the low side 232,000 the only reason I say it's kind of on the low side not be being picky about my views but mostly because I've seen people with less subscribers with way more views but I'm not really worried about that 
So as we, you can see here that it is ready. So what you would do is you hit continue to computer. This warning might come up. If you're doing it on a Mac, this might come up. Just ignore it. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. At least not to me. I see no difference. So you hit continue to computer. And there is my Mac. It's in my room right now. I wish I could show you me controlling it. I would do the Dell desktop, but it lags the video too much. But, um, yeah, so here is my Mac. It's in my room right now. So, um, yeah, to prove that I'm controlling it, down here is my dock. It has a little bit of delay, a little bit of lag on the dock. But only on this side. On the other side, it looks perfectly normal. And, um, yeah. So you can go through all your all your stuff on your computer. Um, I think I already have Firefox open. Let's um. I might have the window over here though. Yeah, the window's right here. Just click or just tap to click or double tap to double click the normal. What would you expect? There's my internet. Oh, that's my trash. But uh, yeah, and there's a video right there, as you can see, a YouTube video. Not by me, you guys. It's by a very nice YouTuber, dance to jeffrey um, Let me see if you can see that. I don't know if you can. Check him out. He has great product reviews. That's about the closest you're getting this. Dance, dance to jeffrey um, Yeah. So, yeah, this is me remote controlling my desktop, um, my Mac, on the other side in my room. I'm right now I'm recording this in my kitchen because I have the best um little recording area and everything. So down here you have your settings. You have X which totally stops everything. It stops close down the app everything. Next to that you have your keyboard which brings up your iPod Touch iPhone keyboard. You can type in. The mouse button does not click you guys. Only thing it does is switches your left click, right click kind of thing. Um this zooms out and zooms back in. Your settings are right here. We can change everything. And one cool feature I would show you if I was in my room right now is the resolution feature. You can actually change your monitor's resolution from here, which is really nice. And I'll get back to the settings in a second. And you have this right here, which just brings up your control, I mean, a command since we're on a Mac. Command tab and just command little extra stuff so the settings you have a good bit of features here you get you can start from the top color quality you can change it your color quality to grayscale everything high quality everything. You can change your resolution your network speed you can do the blank screen lock keyboard kind of thing you can do your scroll mode is either the screen moves or the mouse moves I'd rather screen moves it moves a lot faster you can choose to show the hints or not um, you can in notifications. I have that to where when the screen goes blank, it lets me know, and when the keyboard's locked, it lets me know. So, um, so yeah. This is the Log Me In Ignition application for your iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, available for twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents in the App Store. I totally recommend this app. I give it a five out of five. And before I go, you might notice I'm not holding my camera. I actually have it on an old tripod. It's, I'm still using the same old webcam, but I have it clipped to a tripod. So let me know if you like this view or if you like the whole old little that view. I actually like this one a little bit better. But tell me what you guys want. You're my viewers. You're the ones that count. So let me know which view you like better. So as always, this is Phil from iPodTouchBaller.com comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.